Hi everyone, my name is Robert and I'm going to be shooting a 45 Colt loaded to plus P pressures with the Nosler 250 grain sporting handgun round in it. Uh, it's a hand load of Hogden 110 or Winchester 296, uh, pretty much halfway between the max and the minimum. It's probably moving about 1700 feet per second. And it's about 85 degrees on this, what's turning out to be a very warm Texas spring, almost summer day. Again, I'm going to shoot it into five water jugs over there, backed up by a couple bags of deer corn out of my Rossi, my 16-inch Rossi. Um, 45 Colt, plus P, Nosler 250 grain. Almost loaded a 300 grain in there. That's my normal pig hunting load. I don't want to forget my hearing protection. number on the uh, first jug. That's jug one, pretty much obliterated. Jug two, obliterated. Little fragments here in jug three. I see an entry, I see an exit. Now that's par for the course with the Nosler 250. I have yet to capture one. They always seem to be veering off course and doing odd things. I'm going to look on the ground around here. It bounced back. Let's see where it went. I guess I will go ahead and turn the camera off while we are looking for it. I'm going to pause this. All right, I'm going to try one more time. I could not recover that bullet. Don't know where the heck it went. So I'm going to shoot it from a little bit closer range at a little bit more of a downward angle to get it into the corn if it goes all the way through. Kept it in the fat part of the jugs. Put the rifle down. You know, as always, it destroyed the first couple of jugs with no problem at all. This is the third test where I've tried to recover one of these Nosler 250 grains. And it's not that they over penetrate, it's that they explode and do erratic things after they penetrate. They are a uh, lightly constructed and you know, more 45 Colt, not the plus P variety of 45 Colt. All right, so there's some little fragments of lead and whatnot in the bottom there. This feels like it weighs about 130 to 150 grains, but it made it through two jugs all the way, stopped in the third jug this time. The, uh, the bullet's just lightly constructed. It's probably gonna be really good for deer hunting. I have quite a few uh, 308 loads 
with Hornady SST bullets and a couple 243 loads that have done quite well on deer that stop in the third jug as well, but they all explode as well. Uh, they knock the little Texas deer down very quickly, taking some pigs with them as well. So this shouldn't really be a problem. So if you are hunting Texas sized deer, these little Nosler 250 grain bullets expand nicely. They definitely blow up large and they're very accurate in my rifle. Thanks for watching.